Hey. Hey, good morning. Um, I'm 21, in case you're worried about that. Okay, thanks, man. What's your faith? Um, I think Jesus is the son of God. It does say that in the Bible. I mean, I okay. haven't read all of it, but I do know parts of it. Okay. Do you believe Jesus is the son of God? Okay. I do, yes. Me too. Me too. Yeah. Do you believe he is God? Um, no, I believe he's the son of God. I think God is God, and I think God is three in one. I know that kind of contradicts. I mean, I'm I'm a little confused about it myself, but I do know that Jesus is the son of God, and nobody has ever seen God, and the way God is described is uh, a human body with a, a, a face of light. Nobody has seen the face of God. Okay. Jesus hasn't even seen So you believe... Life. He is the son of God. Uh, when you mentioned three in one, what do you mean by that? Uh, Jesus, God, Holy Spirit. Okay. Um, so they're all one. What does that mean that they're one? Uh, they, they all like, so you know how, uh, it's probably a bad way of putting it, but you know how like, let's say a car works in three parts. You got the engine, you got the tires, and you got the pedals. All those three in one work together to create one thing, you know? So they all make, so God, Son, and Holy Spirit make God? Yes. Yeah, that wouldn't, that wouldn't uh, work, bro. Um, I mean, because God isn't a human and, and Jesus wasn't. Yeah, but also human. God is not. See, you understand, if you're going to try to say that God is made of parts, that means you're saying that God is composite, which means it's impossible that he's eternal because that means he is dependent on something to hold these parts together. Okay, yeah, like I said, it was probably a bad example, but um, I don't know a good example to make yeah, it. Dude, but it's, if that's what you believe, like like uh, they're three in one, what are, what are they making up as one? What, what does that mean? I, I probably chose the wrong wording, honestly. Um, I've... Yeah. Let me ask you this then. Uh, do you believe the sun was created? Um, no, actually, I think, well, hold on. I don't think it, it's hard for me to grasp the beginning of time because it says Jesus or, or God, sorry, not Jesus, it says God was, has always been here and, and always will be. So it's hard for me to grasp the beginning. I'm not asking about that. I'm just asking about Jesus. Was he? Does he have a beginning? Well, well yeah, that, that, that's what I'm getting to. I mean, I can't just answer that with a one-line sentence, you know? Yeah, you could. It's either, yes, I believe he was created, or no. Okay, you can expound well, on your answer, but it's yes or no. Do you believe he was created or not? Well, can I expand before I answer? I mean, sure, bro, but I mean, don't, like, get to the point, man. I'm, I'm not. Yeah, no, no. I like, I'm not interested in, like, hearing people waffle about something. Like, just get to the point so we can discuss. If not, I'll just bring somebody else up, bro. No, I get, I get you. I think Jesus was created to be set down here to die for our sins. Okay, so he you believe he was created. So now, yes. that, that was really easy. You didn't need to go into anything else. So you believe right. he was created. I, I was over. So do you that. believe, do you believe in the Bible? Yeah. Okay. Um, do you do you believe in John chapter one? The word is Jesus. Is that what it says? The word is Jesus. Um, it Im it implies in verse fourteen that the word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. The only begotten Son of God. In verse fourteen, that's who the word is. So, would you agree that that's Jesus? I think the word implies that. God is the word and saying that whatever the word is, is what God. Yeah, but it does say that the word is the only begotten son of the father. Uh, I'm sorry, you cut out a little bit. What you say? It says that the word is the only begotten son of the father. The word is the only begotten son of the father. You believe that the only begotten son is Jesus. You said that. Yes. Okay. So in verse 14, he's identified as the only begotten son of the father, the word. So would you agree that the word is Jesus? Um, I don't know. Huh? I don't know. How do you, what do you mean? You don't know. Do you want to I mean, open it like, up? Do you want to open it up and read it for yourself? 
Um, shit, yeah. Hold on, let me grab it. Go to John chapter 1. Hold and go on, and read boy. verse 14. Let me, let me grab it real quick. Yeah. Um, where the hell is it? Oh, fuck. Bro, watch your man watch your mouth, bro. Sorry, sorry, I accidentally slammed the cupboard, my bad. I seem to have misplaced it. I can't find my bubble. Alright, bro. Uh, I'll pull it up for you, man. Do you see the screen? Yeah. It says, And the word became flesh and dwelt amongst us, and we have seen his glory, glory as the only Son, from the Father, full of grace and truth. Verse 15, this is John the Baptist. Yeah. John bore, bore witness about him, cried out, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me ranks before me because he was before me. All right. Okay. Who, who, is John the who did John the Baptist bore witness of? Jesus Christ. Okay, great. And who is the only begotten Son? Jesus Christ. All right. And that's who the Word is. So who is the Word? Any word became flesh, became flesh. Jesus became flesh. So Jesus. Perfect. So now let's read verse one, two, and three. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through. Remember, all things, all things were made through Him, and without Him was not anything made. That was made. Does this say that Jesus created all things? That third line confuses me. All things. Let's were read made. it slower then, okay? All, all things. things were made all things. Hands. That doesn't mean some yeah. things. That doesn't yeah. mean e just e a couple of things. Everything. Is all everything things. Said. Yeah. Okay. Were made through Him. Him being the Word. And without, let's let's just replace the hymns with Jesus, okay? Because okay. we know it's talking about Jesus. All things were made through Jesus. Yeah. And without Jesus was not anything made that was made. In him was life. And life was the light of men. Light shines in the darkness and darkness is not overcoming. So that, that kind of brings me back to like when it says all things were made through him and without him not anything made that was him it kind of brings me to the back where i don't understand when the beginning was or and i i don't understand um, yeah we, we can discuss that bro but i mean we're, we're just talking bible here you you are you're saying you believe in the bible you say yeah and the bible just told you that jesus made all things but yet you believe he was made Mm, yeah, you see, you got me there. And as I just, I'm, I just have a hard time understanding, uh, like parts of the Bible. It, it's just hard for me to comprehend. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, bro, it, the Bible is not an easy book to understand. And uh, I'm not, but I'm you, not but you to, like, do, but you do agree that this is saying that Jesus is God and He's not created. If He's not created, no, no, Jesus is then, the Son of God. That's fine. He, we believe he's the son of God. Yeah. But he was not created. I think if if God, let, let's let's back up just a little tiny bit here. I think God has always been. There was no beginning. That part's hard to comprehend, but I I do I can't comprehend it. Uh, God has always been a beginning. I think an offspring. Well, not an offspring. Oh, fuck. See, I don't even know the right words to use because I just I don't want to contradict myself here. I'm not yeah, you're, to... over, you're overthinking it, bro. I mean, yeah, the, it clearly says that nothing, anything that was created was not created without Jesus. Nothing, then, nothing, all things that were created, all things, not some, not just everything that was created except for Jesus. No, all things were created through Jesus and not anything was created 
that was there was nothing that was created except that was that was not without him. Not without him, him. Yeah, I, verse three. Uh, remember, I, let's. Let, I'm going to replace the word him with Jesus because we know this with Jesus. No, and the hold, word hold made on. with created. Okay. All on, things, when, when you say him, no, hold on. I don't mean to cut you off. But when you say him, God is also referred to as him. Correct. We believe he's God, bro. That's the point. I mean, I just to put like label him as Jesus. I think like the word him as Jesus. I, I think. Yeah, we believe the him is Jesus and we believe the him is God because the word is Jesus and the word was with God and the word was God. So, so yes. Jesus is with God and was God before he was sent down into the flesh that's not what it says okay. well no I'm, I'm just kind of putting it in context here no that is the concept don't don't change what the word what it, what it says bro no i'm not like, i'm not changing like what it says. the I'm context to... is the context would be giving you more information to understand what the word says right i'm, I'm just what trying the, to grasp the context here i i understand but you're 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 not grasping you're grasping something completely different than what it's saying it's not context you're trying to force your understanding into this. Don't force no, nothing. I'm, I'm not trying to force. That's not my intention. I, I just... Okay. Well, it says that the word was God. Yes. So that that's very clear. It's not ambiguous. The word, who we know is Jesus, is God. Yes. Period. Okay. There's no, there's no way around that. That's right? true. Either that, either that, or this is, this is not the word of God. This is contradictions. There's problems. Okay. He was yeah. in the beginning with God. All things were made through him. That's the word. All things were created through him. All things, all things, not everything except one thing. All things were created through him. Yes. And without him, without Jesus, there was not anything created that was created. And since, since God has always been here, he wasn't created. He has always been. Correct. So that means Jesus has always been. He is God. Okay. No, it's making more sense now. Yeah. So, so if Jesus wasn't created because Jesus is God because of the whole three and one thing I brought up earlier. Mm -hmm. So without him, nothing. Were, okay. It's making more sense now. All right, good, bro. I'm a little slow. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's all right, bro. Just we gotta we gotta break. I don't know who's putting. I don't know if you were listening to anybody else trying to convince you that Jesus was created because there's other people that believe that. I it's think just, it's a heresy, bro. It's um. It's I think it's just my overthinking that got me there. Honestly, no problem, bro. Just keep reading John one one through three. And just read it over and over again, and remember the pieces. All right, he was with. Yeah. The word, which we know is Jesus, because of verse 14, we already saw that. Mm -hmm. The word was with God, and the word was God. How do we make sense of that? Uh, how, how, we, you know, how do we make sense of that? Well, the word, if the, the word was with the with Father. God, it means the word has always been. Let's say that again. So you, you're saying Jesus is with God, and if Jesus is with God, and God didn't create Jesus, Jesus has always been, since God has always been. And if right. the word has been with God, that means the word has always, the, the word has also always been. That's correct. So the word wasn't created. The word was not created. And, and now there's a, but there's a distinct person. So we believe, we know that he, there's the father. The father has always been as well. Right. And we also know that the Holy Spirit is God as well. Yeah. So now we have one God because they're all one God. There's not two gods. There's not three gods. They're all one nature. Yeah. But that nature is three persons, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. So when it says that the Word was with God, the Word was with the Father, and the Father is God. But the Son is also God, because they share the same nature. The Son is also God, or the same Son nature. Ooh, I'm, I'm really trying not to get lost here. Um, no problem, bro. Take your time on that one. You're, you're almost there. I'm going to get to the next guest, but nice having you, bro. Come back up. If you have Bless you, brother. Here. You'll get it. Have a good one.